action. Hi, today we're going to be making seamless rings. We're going to use PMC 350 grams for the rings, our ring making mold, roller, needle tool, teflon sheet, and a stack of 15 card stick. We're going to open and roll our PMC 3. I recommend to start with a big package so you have material to work with. Warm up the clay so it's going to be nice and soft. I'm going to grease our molds and roll out clay in between 15 cards. So it's going to be nice and thick. I'm going to use the cutter for the, just for the impression of the clay. Very slightly get impression. Move the, the, the cards. I'm going to cut the inside first. Leave the axis inside until I do the other, the outside. Now it's ready to be removed. Remove the inside. So we have the band for the sides that we need to use. In my case, right now, I'll be using ring making mold for size 7 push the band inside just slightly now the making molds have keys that fit exactly one inside the other you press it you can use your hands or you can use a vise, whatever you prefer. Now we're going to open our mold after we pressed it. You can use your fingers, your nails, or simply the needle tool. We'll be open it. I'm gonna have to clean the excess. Make sure that you got a good impression for from the side that it's open, the one that it's exposed. It's really up to you how much you want to clean. So the more you clean now, the less you stand later. Now you can just simply put it on the hot plate or a dryer, whatever you use. Of course you clean the other side, you want to save some of the clay and you put it in the hot plate until uh, the stage of uh, bone dry. You want to dry one side, leave it in the mold to retain its shape and then you flip it to the other side so the other side will be dry and what you should end up with after removing it from the mold, it's a seamless ring that right now the only thing it needs is sanding. For sanding, I use sanding block for the outside, exacto knife, and um, a roll of um, sanding paper. We're going to start cleaning the inside with the exacto knife. And slightly of the outside to remove the connection point between the two molds. 
Now we have a little bump here for the axis of the clay. Just cut it off. And I'm going to start sanding the inside. Now when the inside is nice and clean, we can start with the outside. Very slightly sanding. The line should be come out very, very easily with very minor sanding. So what you get is a seamless ring, no connection point, very easy to make, you can later on decorate it, you can add some uh, applications, you can work with a syringe, you can add um, some gold, some stones, that's it. Very, very easy, very smooth, very straight, even on both sides. Now, for, after you send the ring, you need to put it in the kiln. I would use um, a ring plug, you put it, center it with the ring, so when it shrinks, it's going to be even on both sides, and you put it for two hours for 1650. Okay, so this is the ring, after being fired and polished, as you could see it's perfectly round it is five millimeter thick now before you fire it if you want to add and elaborate the design with your own you can engrave on it or add some paper punchers or decorate with gold or whatever you want but this is just the simple band that we made as you can see perfect <laughs> 